Hi guys, this is Marvin from ShopsadaPage.com and today we're going to do a follow-up video to answer your questions about the Anycast M2 Plus dongle. Let's get to it! Welcome back guys and let's start with the very reason why some people are having issues with their Anycast dongle and that's the firmware upgrade. Right off the bat when I powered up my Anycast dongle, it automatically prompts the firmware upgrade. But you can cancel it within a few seconds. I continued mine because I don't have any problems with my Anycast dongle. So here's my screen after the upgrade. What was added is some information about using the Anycast dongle with DLNA applications such as the one I'm using, which is the iMediaShare app. So let's go ahead to the first question which is related to the firmware upgrade. I am unable to connect my Anycast dongle to my router after the firmware upgrade. Can you help me? The reason behind this from my understanding is that the Anycast dongle doesn't detect the router. And what I did to fix this issue is I created a Wi-Fi hotspot using another phone. And surprisingly, when I tried connecting my Anycast dongle to the router again, both the Wi-Fi hotspot that I've created and my home router was detected and I was able to connect my Anycast dongle to the router again. Moving on to the next question, can I use the Anycast dongle without internet connection? Yes you can, but for local contents only and mirroring mode. Here let me show you real quick. So I turned off our router just to make sure I'm not connected to the internet. I made sure I'm also on airplane mode because that's where we can use the LNA applications. Made sure I'm connected to the Anycast dongle Wi-Fi. Open up iMediaShare app, browse through my local videos, and choose Anycast for the screen and boom! My video is now streaming on my monitor. How about mirroring mode, you ask? It's also simple. Change the mode to Miracast by clicking the button on the side of the Anycast dongle. Once you're on Miracast mode, make sure you're connected to the Anycast dongle and then open up your casting settings on your mobile phone and enable wireless display. Choose Anycast and bam! Your phone screen is now mirrored on your TV or monitor. Alright, so the next question is... Can I use Anycast on phone without casting option? Yes, but for streaming mode only using DLNA applications such as iMediaShare for local contents as I've shown on the previous question, and Flips TV for online contents. You can browse hundreds of videos on Flips TV for free, and streaming it is the same as on iMediaShare. Just pick a video and choose Anycast for the screen, and voila! The video is now streaming on your monitor or TV. Moving on to the next question. How can I cast my laptop screen using Anycast? First of all, yes it's possible, but I can only demonstrate it using my Windows laptop. So to do that, make sure you're on Miracast mode. Go to your laptop's notification area and click on connect and choose Anycast for the display. It may take a while so be patient. Once it's done connecting, your laptop's display is now mirrored on your monitor or again your TV. And for the last question, and this might actually shock you. My Anycast dongle is not powering up. Can you help me? Some users might think that they have a faulty Anycast dongle because it's not powering up. But it might be because the USB port of their TV is not able to power up the Anycast dongle properly. Like what we've encountered on one of our old LCD TV. What you can do is you can power up your Anycast dongle using a power bank or a power brick from one of your smartphones as long as it can supply a 5V power. And there you have it guys, thank you for watching, make sure to check the full article, link in the description below, and if you still have questions, write it down in the comments and I'm going to try to answer it. Subscribe if you like this, and see you next time. Thank you, have a great day.